Good afternoon, good morning, <laughs> good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. I'm happy to see you again. As promised from the last session, today's workout is going to be a uh, full body, although a little bit more so for the uh, upper body. But I'll make sure to give you a little bit of something for everything today. It's the last workout for the week. We're going to finish the week strong. And what I'd like to start with is a proper warm up today. So, if you can stand here, I'll show you in profile with your arms outstretched out in front of you. I want you to reach as far forward as you can. And that means separating the shoulder blades and stretching those shoulders forwards and then pull the shoulders back. We're going to do that at a quick pace for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now I'd like for you to be opening up your wingspan as much as you possibly can if you need to drop your arms a little bit because of shoulder troubles to do this, feel free to do so. We're going to open and close for 10, stretch the shoulders forward, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, now we're gonna do some little circles with the arms. I know your shoulders are probably already tired from that. I don't mind getting you fatigued. Now let's draw a larger circle, slow the pace, and make them progressively larger until you're at the greatest range of motion for your body, and then switch direction. Again, with that slow pace, full range of motion, and we'll start to make them smaller and quicker, progressively quicker, progressively smaller, until they're as small and quick as they can be. And then stop, oh, you can rest the arms. Let's tuck our shoulder, uh, sorry, don't tuck your shoulders anyway. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Let the shoulders droop forward. We're gonna flex the spine, adopt this awful posture, bend it uh, vertebra by vertebra, sliding your hands down your thighs, going as low as you can go, keeping a little flex in the knee here, and then rising up, and I'm making sure to rise up one vertebra at a time with my extension. I'm not unfolding with my whole back at a time. So let's repeat that once more. Slowly curl your way down. And then slowly make your way back up. Look up to the ceiling. Keep the jawline closed. I'd like for you to reach behind your back with your right arm. And then reach behind your back with your left arm. You can look at the camera for this one. You don't have to keep looking at the ceiling yet. So now I want you to grab your wrists together or your fingertips or your forearms or your elbows. Go as far across as your shoulders allow. Once we have that position, now you can look up to the ceiling, pull the shoulders back and down, and we'll just take a few slow, deep breaths in and out of this position for three and out. Two belly breaths so you can let your stomach out while you breathe in. And one, breathe in. Now hold those arms in position. I want you to pull your head to the left, pulling the right side of the shoulders down a little more. And then draw your head to the right, pulling the left shoulder down. Once more, tilt your head to the left. And once more, tilt your head to the right. And then you can go ahead and release those arms. Now I want you to keep a neutral position of your spine. So let's draw our shoulders back, chest a little bit up, just so we have that natural curve in the back, but not too much flexion. We're gonna push our butts back, and you can either reach forward with your arms or you can place your palms on your thighs. We're gonna go as low as we can, stopping at any point, whatever point you feel you can't make it. If you're able, you can release the hands from your thighs, touch the floor, and then slowly press down into the ground and push the hips forward. Let's take a breath in and repeat. Make your way down. If you need to stop here and hold while the rest of us continue the rest of the way down, then do that. Try to do whatever your body is capable of doing and no more. And then one more. All the way down. And all the way up. Now I think we can get started with the exercises for today. So I'd like for you to start with your rubber band, loop it or drop it down to the, uh, to the ground. 
And I'm gonna step onto this band with my left foot and I'm gonna hold onto the band with my right hand. Now you can reverse that, it doesn't really matter as long as it's opposite foot standing on the band and opposite hand holding the band. And the, when you're raising the arm up, that band's stretching out with an appropriate amount of resistance. If it's too difficult for you, just loosen the band. So this is an old familiar exercise. We're gonna pull the elbow back and then we're gonna rotate the arm. And actually doing this diagonal format is a little bit easier than the, the, the same exercise we did last time. So we're gonna do that for 12. Elbow, rotate forearm back. 11, 10, nine. If you can't raise the elbow up that high up, just cinch the hand down, rotate like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. By now, I'm certain you're feeling it in the shoulder. And one, so we can then go ahead and switch sides. Remembering opposite foot, opposite hand. Elbow out, we'll start from one. We're gonna go all the way back up to 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're getting there, 10, Oh, 11 and 12, okay. So the next exercise is for your shoulders. That's actually for the deltoids, so the muscles that form that cap around the shoulder. You can use one of two implements. You can either use this band, or you can grab a couple cans of food or a couple of, um, of dumbbells, light dumbbells. It's your choice what you use. You can pause the video right now and grab that. What the exercise entails, so I'm going to step on the band with one foot. What it entails is a raise forwards with one arm and a raise out to the side with the other arm, like this. And because I'm really interested in having you coordinate muscle groups and coordinate your body in general, I'm going to have you alternate that every time. One arm in front, one arm to the side, and then switch the other arm out in front and the other one to the side. Don't worry. Especially if you're using the band, if you can't get that hand all the way up to the shoulder. Lift it up as high up as you can get it, with no pain, and uh, you're going to receive benefit from that. And whenever we come back to a similar exercise, you should be able to do exactly the same thing, and maybe a little bit better. So we're going to count this in a multiple of 12, starting from 0, 12, and I like a slow pace for these ones, 24, Hope you don't mind, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, 108, 120. And that's about all I'm gonna have you do for those raises, because I don't often have you do that exercise. I'll gradually blend these into your program, and as you've gotten more experience with them, I'll have you do them a little bit more frequently. So you can have a seat now. And uh, actually, uh, I shouldn't have told you to put the band away. You're gonna keep the band, and we're gonna do a rowing action. So I'm gonna loop the band around one foot, and I'm gonna keep that leg up in the air today. I really don't want you to rest it. Resting is only if you absolutely need to, or if you have some kind of pre-existing injury in the front of your hip that doesn't let you hold it up for long. Regardless, it's always good to try and bolster up these muscles. So let's raise that leg up. Today, it's as simple as separating the arms. You don't have to do any rotation of the arm whatsoever. So get those fists as far apart as you can, stretch the shoulders forwards, and repeat. We'll do that for a multiple of three from zero. Three. Even better if you can hold good posture while you do it. Six, it's another great component of this exercise. Nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, whew, and 30. 
Now you can put the band away, and I mean it, we won't use it again for another exercise. So by now your shoulders should be feeling tired because I've worked from front, side, back, plus rotation, so they've completely been worked. Now, onto your hips and your thighs. I'd like for you to sit back a little bit further in your chair, we're going to do some scissor actions. Of course, the further forward you sit, the more difficult it's going to become. We're going to do this scissors counting or spelling the, the word Excalibur, both forwards and backwards, no rest in between. So lift those legs up, grip the chair, and we'll start at E, X, C, and I'm doing this nice and slowly, A, keep my pace, L, I know it's tempting to do them quick, more quickly, I, B, because the quicker you do it, the sooner it's over, right? U, the less time under tension, R, in this case, I want more time under tension. Spelling backwards from R. U. B, so I like to have you do them more slowly. I. L. A. C. X. And finally, E. All right, that's, believe it or not, all I have for you today. I tried to keep today's session shorter than the previous two so you have a little bit more time to recover. I want you to grab, if you have it, a step stool, or um, you know, like I'm using um, just a footrest, something that's lower than your actual seat. If you have the flexibility, you can cross your leg one foot over the other thigh and do this pigeon pole, or this pigeon stretch rather. But if that's too much for you, I just need you to rotate the femur and open up the knee. So you can place the foot up onto this step up. And then all you have to do from there, if you don't already feel a good quality stretch in the hip, is to lean forward slightly and rest your elbows on your free thigh. That's it. You should feel a stretch either in the hip itself, maybe you'll feel it on the inside of the thigh or towards the sit bone, depending on where you're holding your tension. Last session we worked your, we held your, uh, the stretch on the hamstrings and today I want to stretch out the glutes. So if you're following along with all the sessions, the three sessions that I provide in the week, over the course of the week you should be getting enough work for your body, all the different parts of your body and for the coordination exercises as well. And you should also be getting, you know, some stretches done for your hips, some for your calves and feet, some for your hamstrings, some for your neck and shoulders. Now you can release this foot. We're going to raise the other foot, put in place, let the knee open up to the side. And if that's not already a good enough stretch for you, you can lean forward on the thigh. And of course, if this version is not giving you the stretch, then cross that foot right over the opposite thigh and then lean forward like that. Just take some deep breaths in and out. This is our time to cool down, to relax. Open up the hips and take some tension off your low back. Incidentally, this muscle that we're stretching, I've said it before, since it is responsible both for rotating your femur and for keeping your hips even, um, it has a lot to do with uh, how your knees feel and with the health of your knees. So I really like strengthening this muscle and I also like stretching it. That is about enough time. So we're gonna finish up with one exercise, you don't need a ball today because it's coordination, but different kind of exercise. I haven't done this for a few months with you. So simple exercise, though not easy. You're going to draw a square or a rectangle with your right arm. And with the other arm, you're going to draw a triangle. Okay, so three-sided on the left side, four-sided on the right side. Simple as that. We're going to count from one to five in once, all right? So here we go, do your best. You've got to visualize those two different shapes and draw them at the same time with different sides of the body. So starting at one, two, three, <laughs> four, <laughs> and the last one, five. Ugh. All right, now if that wasn't good enough, we're gonna count backwards from five, but we're gonna switch. So draw the triangle on the opposite side now and the square on the opposite side from what you just did. So 
Here we go. Ah, uh, boy, oh, I'm messing this up already. Five. Four. <laughs> Three. Oh my gosh. Two. <laughs> there we go, I got it. And the last one, one. I hope you had fun with that one. Last Christmas, at that time of year, I was having the group do a cold Christmas tree on one side, and I think uh, some, some smooth circular object on the other side, like an oval. Anyway, I had a great time this week. It was a very complete full program. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're still following along. If you have any uh, questions or concerns for me or things that you'd like to see more of, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below on these YouTube, on these YouTube pages or just to go to our website, that's www.newagainfitness.com. We have a whole page on that webpage devoted just to the Seniors Fitness Program so you can leave me messages there as well. I hope you're having a great week. Make sure to stay active, stay strong, and stay healthy. Bye, everyone.